Good morning, friends. It's Casey in Arizona coming at you from Zone 9B. I am out here in my garden like I always am every morning. And I had a request yesterday uh, to create a YouTube discussing the boysenberry. So um, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see my plant. I planted my boysenberry last spring and so this is the second growing season right here. Um, it did very well over the winter. Some of the leaves did turn a beautiful reddish orange. It was simply gorgeous, but it never defoliated. And we had a really, really uh, cold winter for Tucson. We got snow several times this past year. This is all new growth over here. And... Um, it's doing exceptionally well. I did trim it back a little bit because it was getting so bushy, but um, yeah, it's as long as you train it on a fence or a trellis, I think it would be fantastic. These were the last fruit of the season and they were extremely small. And so I ended up not picking these hoping that the birds would get them, but they never did, so that surprised me. The fruit that um, I did pick and enjoy, they were, oh, they were large. They were probably about, I don't know, maybe a quarter to a half an inch long. They were big fruit. So um, these little ones I just left, they were too difficult to pick. <laughs> So I believe in another video, I um, said that this plant got morning Ooh. sun and afternoon shade when in reality it gets morning shade and afternoon sun. I realized that after I posted the video, so I need to retract that. Uh, it's a trooper. It really is a strong plant because I think it thrives in the sun, to be honest with you. The part that is mostly in the shade is not growing as well as the part that is always in the sun. I fertilize this every couple of weeks with fish emulsion. I just Put a little bit in a five gallon bucket and then I usually use about half of the bucket um, on this plant and when I say a little bit I think if I actually measured it out it'd probably be a tablespoon or two but I just kind of dump the fish emulsion in and then add the water to mix it all together my goal and I have a new plant right here I planted this this one this spring. It hasn't really done a whole lot yet, but I imagine when we get the monsoons that it's really going to take off because that's what happened to this one. Um, my goal is to eventually have this all covered in berries and grapes and I have blackberries planted along the way. So I would love to have my entire fence just completely full of edibles edibles being berries and grapes. <laughs> so yeah, I use that fish emulsion every two to three weeks during the growing season this summer. Um, I'll be doing that. And then it is on a drip irrigation. So it does get watered like three times a week right now. But it's doing fantastic. I can't complain. I had never tried a boysenberry until I grew one. I grew a plant and I didn't even know if I liked boysenberry, but I'm always up for trying new things to see what will take here in Arizona and what won't. And my grapes are now doing great now that I sprayed all those bugs with the uh, dish detergent. Another thing that I'm growing, I'll move down here. I'm growing uh, passion fruit. I had my passion fruit on a trellis last year and it was gorgeous and then the little caterpillars came and ate everything I didn't realize if I had just left it the leaves would have come back so I cut it down and then relocated it um, this is a new one that I just bought this year it was much bigger but I kind of trimmed it up just to give it a little extra boost and then down here is my other one that I relocated 
there's gonna be a jungle here someday. <laughs> so here's my other passion flower. And um, it's kind of growing all willy wonky all over the place, but that's what I want it to do. I want it to fill in this entire gap. I don't have any fruit on it. I've had some flowers. I doubt I'll get fruit this year, but I'm hoping maybe by next year I will. This is the back side of that boysenberry. You can see it is really growing nicely. I can't believe how well my grapes are doing. I have a ton of grapes. And they're actually good size this year. They're getting larger. Last year, um, I didn't, I didn't do anything with them. This year, I kind of chopped half of them down because this was overloaded, and it still looks overloaded. But it gave them the ability to grow bigger by doing so. So this is a boysenberry vine that I haven't trellised yet. And you can see how long it is. Oh no, I broke it. They are very quite fragile, very, very fragile. So you have to be careful. But yeah, this one's pretty long. <laughs> this is where I had the passion fruit last year and it was growing up this trellis and then it went over and it filled in up here. And right now I have a blackberry vine. I've never grown a blackberry vine, so I thought it'd be worth a shot. Um, I do have a few little blackberries on here. Mm -hmm. And this, I believe this one was called a sweetie pie blackberry vine. But yeah, it's, it's filling in, it's coming up over here. And then I have one on the other side. So we'll see how it does. I'll let you know. Oh, my dog wants attention. Yeah, I just have a little bit of support for, for the vines. So there you have it. I hope I answered the questions you had about the boys and Barry. I'm a novice and I'm just trying things as I go. Um, I'm happy to give you anything, any information that I have regarding these plants, but again, <laughs> it's just my own personal experience um, because I'm new to this. Please forgive the mark I have on my face. I went to my doctor yesterday and um, had to have some precancerous cells removed, but it um, <laughs> makes me a little uglier than normal. <laughs> It'll go away eventually, I hope. Well, on that note, you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And um, hopefully I will see you again soon. I'm Casey here in Arizona, if you are new. And uh, I would love it if you clicked like and subscribe, if you enjoy my content. And if you think I'm a train wreck, I hope you still follow along and click like and subscribe. <laughs> see, my dog even agrees. Hey guys, bye.